This is one of the major global public health issues in the world, HIV or AIDS. In year 2018, there are at least 37.9 million people in the world living with HIV. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, there are at least 50,000 reported cases of people affected with HIV. HIV is known as one of the deadliest viruses in the world. HIV is continuously spreading around the world. This is why we must act now in order to prevent it. In this video, we will be educating ourselves about HIV and AIDS in order for us to be aware. And so we can spread this awareness too. We will be answering 6 questions about the topic. 1. What is HIV or AIDS? 2. How does HIV or AIDS affect the human body? 3. What is the history or origin of the HIV? 4. How is HIV transferred from person to person? 5. What are its symptoms? 6. How can we prevent HIV or AIDS? Let us now proceed with the first question. What is HIV? What is AIDS? HIV, it is also known as human immune deficiency virus, and AIDS, it is known as acquired immune deficiency syndrome. We may be asking ourselves, are they the same? How are they different? HIV and AIDS are similar only because both of them involve human deficiency virus. They are of same medical terms referring to a single disease. However, they are different in many ways. 1. HIV is a virus or an infection. Meanwhile, AIDS is a chronic, potential life-threatening condition caused by HIV. It means that AIDS can only be acquired after contracting with HIV. 2. A person could become HIV positive but never develop symptoms. It means that a person can have HIV infection without acquiring AIDS. This can only happen if the person contracted with HIV immediately undergo medication to prevent AIDS. 3. HIV is the first stage where a body's immune system gets infected. AIDS is a latter in the final stage of HIV. Furthermore, HIV is a retrovirus. It is a type of virus that inserts a copy of its RNA genome into the DNA of a host cell that it invades. Thus, changing the genome of that cell in order to replicate. This is the reason why HIV and AIDS are incurable. HIV is a rapidly evolving virus once it is inside its host. It constantly mutates during replication to create new variants. This is why vaccine is still not made. Because HIV constantly creates, mutates, and replicates new viruses that are already resistant from the previous vaccine made that turn out to be a fail. As we now know its definition, let's move forward with the second question. How does HIV or AIDS affect the human body? HIV targets and infects the same immune system cells that protect us from germs and illnesses. These cells are a type of white blood cell called CD4 cells. Without medication to control the virus, HIV usually takes over CD4 cells and turns them into factories that produce millions of copies of the virus. As the virus makes copies, it damages the CD4 cells, weakening the immune system. This is how HIV causes AIDS. As we know what is HIV, and AIDS, and how it affects the human body. Let us now answer the third question. What is the history or origin of HIV? HIV is present since the 1950s. However, it was only discovered in 1983 in Africa. It is believed to be linked to SIV, also known as Simian Immunodeficiency Virus, which attacked the immune system of monkey and apes. In the same way, HIV attacks the immune system of the human as well. This is why scientists conclude that HIV originated from monkeys and apes. But how did it transfer to human beings? It was believed that the hunter in Africa, upon killing apes with SIV, 
their blood managed to enter the human body, which is the origin of HIV. That's all. We then get to discover the history of this deadly virus. So how is HIV transmitted from person to person? First, it can be transmitted through body fluids such as blood, semen, vaginal fluid, rectal fluid, and breast milk. For this to transfer, it can occur by having a direct contact with a person with an HIV. This includes transmitting the HIV through the bloodstream of a person without an HIV. Second, it can be transmitted through unprotected sex. Engaging into sexual intercourse without a protection such as condom is one way for HIV to be transmitted. Third, it can be transmitted through pregnancy because a pregnant woman with an HIV can pass it to her child because the virus can infect the fetus. Fourth, sharing of injection. This is dangerous because a syringe may contain some infected blood from an HIV positive person which can be transmitted to an HIV negative person when injected. These are the ways of how HIV is transmitted. Moving forward, what are the symptoms of HIV AIDS? There are many symptoms for it, but here are some of the usual symptoms a person experiences upon getting infected with HIV. Rapid weight loss, recurring fever or profuse night sweats, extreme and unexplained tardiness, prolonged swelling of limp glands in the armpits, groin, or neck. Diarrhea that lasts more than a week, source of mouth, anus, or genitals, pneumonia, red, brown, pink, or purplish blotches on or under the skin or inside the mouth, nose, or eyelids, and memory loss, depression, and other neurologic disorders. Upon experiencing a few of the symptoms, it is best to seek for a doctor immediately. We now know what we need to know about HIV and AIDS. Now, we will be answering the last question. How can we prevent HIV and AIDS? As you watch this video, you are already doing one of the ways to prevent HIV and AIDS. It is because we are educating ourselves. In this way, we are protected and aware. This is why we must share what we have learned to other people, to promote awareness. We can use platforms such as social media to do so. We must be united as one so we can fight this global health issue and put an end to it step by step. We must stay healthy and remember that change begins in ourselves because if we do not act now, then who will?